Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, just wanted to go over some of our uh, recent products. These are um, mounting solutions for telescopes, dovetail plates, clamps, spacers, uh, and all those kind of uh, accessories uh, to get you going. So uh, here we have an uh, example. This is a recent uh, design for the Takashi Epsilon 180. Pretty big rings. Usually these would be quite heavy. Uh, however, these being uh, carbon fiber composite, uh, 3D printed uh, parts and designs, they are extremely light, extremely uh, rigid and strong. Uh, I've tried and you can't, you know, you can't notice any flicks on these no matter how much force you put on them. Uh, here we have an assembled one, for example, and uh, even though they're pretty big rings, this one here, for example, weighs 370 grams, so that's less than a pound, which is very light. It's, uh, it's probably one-fourth uh, what the uh, metal ones go for, or even uh, the cast uh, aluminum ones, which are a lot heavier. Now, um, we also have the uh, CNC machined um, uh, dovetail plate. This is a Los Mendy uh, style. You can see there are a lot of different uh, spacings that you can use. Uh, three bolts here on the bottom for extra security. Now, typically what you have is, you probably have uh, something like this to uh, attach to your mount. You've got your telescope here, and now on top, uh, most people would like to uh, attach uh, the accessories. Uh, these are, you know, things like your controllers, or your mini PCs, or, you know, uh, things of that nature. So, uh, what you could do is, you know, attach another dovetail plate up here. Uh, that's the, let's say, classical way of doing it. However, um, this is not really required. Uh, if you don't really require that much strength uh, and um, a, a very heavy payload on top, what you could do is go for the, again, same material, uh, composite uh, dovetail plates. These, the advantage is that they're very light, very rigid. I mean, you can't even flex these things. But again, they weigh next to nothing. So this one here is a nine inch long, 260 millimeter, uh, dovetail plate for, for 230 grams. So, and that's where you want the least amount of weight is the furthest from your mount. Uh, higher uh, on top is where you should avoid heavier weight because as you know, uh, that really messes with your guiding and tracking and your mount's performance. So, now you have a light uh, dovetail uh, plate on top. If you wanted to, for whatever reason, let's say you want to get away from your focuser, you could attach uh, spacers. Now these spacers, again, very light, very strong. You could stand on these uh, and uh, nothing would happen. A pair of these weigh 60 grams, that's a few ounces. And you can simply um, place these here and, and now you have your um, spacing, you know. And these can be made to different heights uh, if needed. Actually, we can just bolt this on uh, real quick. So this is, let's show you guys, let's have an example. Of, typical kind of mounting scenario here with all the parts. So there's our nifty little screwdriver here. One, just do one side for now. Okay, so uh, accessory plate on top here. Now you have a lot of options. Um, you could use uh, just a standard uh, clamp we have here. Same material, bolt pattern here, and uh, these are uh, stainless steel hardware metal knobs, very strong, again, very light. Uh, this is what, 60, 70 grams uh, per uh, clamp. And you can just attach these. These could, these could clamp onto any uh, standard Los uh dovetail. It doesn't need to be these, but uh, as you can see, so this clamps on top here. Now you have a range of uh, attachments that can uh, attach to these. Uh, for example, you have a little bracket here for the Mille uh, quieter PC. These can go on either way. Uh, you've got here the um, Pegasus, what is it, the advanced, the small one, a power box. Again, this can bolt on either way. Pegasus Ultimate uh, power box, same story. Uh, there are a lot of these uh, these attachments. Also, the same material, very strong. And this one here, for example, is 50 grams, so next to nothing. Um, another option is, let's say uh, you would want a guide shoe, so there's a guide shoe adapter where you can adapt from uh, a 
wider low spindy type to a standard guide shoe. Screw this on, nice and tight. Okay. And here, in here, you could put your, let's say, uh, ASI Air or uh, your guide scope. This happens to be our uh, the uh, new uh, also carbon composite uh, 40 uh, 40 millimeter guide scope. This one has a focus motor on it. Uh, it doesn't have to have a focus motor, but this is the, an optional extra. So you could attach this up here now, and you have your guide scope, light guide scope, uh, light uh, accessory bar spacers. Everything is very light, very rigid and strong, and uh, that's your set here. Uh, there are you know endless uh, possibilities here. For example, let's say you wanted um, uh, Vixen type bars. We got Vixen type bars as well. Uh, you have to specify the, the bolt spacing here. So you could put that on. Obviously, the, the Vixens come with their own uh, Vixen. You know, you have to get the Vixen clamp. But these will clamp onto any uh, standard uh, Vixen bar. They come in different sizes. Uh, it's from four inches all the way up to ten, I think. And uh, yeah, different kinds of clamps here as well. Uh, this one here, for example, is a 20 by 20, which attaches to you know things like the Prima Luce um, flat adapters and things of that nature. But uh, well, that's a lot of solutions here, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed this uh, episode. And see you back next time.